Hello and welcome to my video blog. Today we want to talk about designing a form, the colors, the style and the content. And perhaps also the combination of forms. How user friendly is a form composed? What informations you will transport? What should the user do? In the last weeks I learned a lot about um, content designing and writing short but informative texts. So let's look at an example. I start an older version of my program where I made a lot of mistakes. You can see here the entrance dialog where user can take a choice in what version they want to test my program. In the basic ver version, the professional version or the enterprise version. But you can see here all texts are relatively near cluttered together. It is a lot of text and the form does not look very well. Okay, and now I show you the new version. So you see a big difference. You see some icons on the left side where it makes it easier to understand what choice the user should take. I use less of words and for example the basic professional enterprise also in uppercase letters and the description is much more shorter and you have also directly the possibility to register the program from here on so it offers more possibilities for the users so and you can see now uh, directly both dialogues uh, side by side so it is uh, better to recognize the differences here is another bad example where you can see how the development for a dialogue changes over the years here five years ago this was a dialogue to create a new uh, database where the user had the possibility to enter a table name or create some fields in an easy way or choose create new table via import or using a template this was in so far okay at this stage but later there were new functionalities and you see this dialogue from the um, version 6 i've added here the possibility to enter a password and to show the strengths for the password here on the right side and I added also an extended database format that the user can select here so the result was that we have too much information in this dialog and you can't reduce it the words or so and the sentences so I show you another solution you can split this dialog in two dialogues. So this is a current version of this dialog where we have also here the possibility to enter a password and select the encryption method and we have here the possibility to select the database format, the extended format, uh, where is it possible to save extended files also into the database and you can select also that uh, included files should be uh, extra encrypted, not only compressed. So this was the entrance dialog and then you simply put the choice to select the next tab and then you can here make your choice that is more or less this uh, information from the beginning dialogue. So this is the other solution huh? that you not try to make it press more and more information in, in one side of the dialogue, split it in two and this is much more uh, better to see what the user can do here and you can put additional information or additional icons. And another thing I want to mention here is that you group your information. With these lines here you can create two sections so that the user have a better orientation where what kind of information stands. Okay, now let's go to another section of designing concerning colors and also windows and organization of windows. 
here I have, I have started my pure HTML editor where you can see the program in dark mode. I recommend always to have a program version that supports the light mode and the dark mode. Before I go into details concerning the colors, some remarks to what you can show at the program start. Of course, you should show only things that the user can use. If the user can't use some buttons here, then disable them. And other windows or parts of the program should be also not visible or disabled. Here I have um, already created some home pages, so this list is available. But I show you a screenshot of how the program looks when the user would start it the first time. Then, of course, he don't see the list on the left side because he has not uh, created some home pages. But instead of this, he uh, sees this information panel with uh, short information how he can start. And if he only tests the program at the moment, you can offer also a show order form and enter license key when he has bought the program. And of course, a help button where he get uh, further information. So that means you should adjust your or adapt your viewings and your information that you present to the user to the current situation. So let's start here one home page and we will cover uh, some question about colors. And my first design tip is here not to use dark color dialogues on dark color main forms. So that means when you open here on this dark mode main window another dialogue, then use another style. You can uh, use more than one styles in your Delphi VCL application. And I have used here the Slate Classico style and the dark mode is a dark vector style. The advantage is that the contrast is higher and the user can very good see the input, the edits and, and the button and so on. I will show you the difference it, if that would be not in dark mode. For that, I just open Delphi and change here the style name to nothing and start this program again. Have a look again at the settings dialog. You see it, it's not so very good to uh, recognize. That's the reason why I recommend to have dialogues in a light color scheme then. So now I go back to the style name property of this form and select again Slate Classico and you see the style is adapted here. If you haven't used it, this styling in the form formular designer, you can activate it under tools, options, formular designer. And here you have to activate uh, the both check marks, VCL styles and the checkbox mimic uh, system styles. In the appearance section, in the options dialog, you can select your styles that you want to use in your application. You can see I have here Slate Classico, Windows 10, Windows 10 Green and Dark Vector. And the standard style is here Dark Vector. I don't know why it changes uh, when you open this dialog again. And another thing you should know, sometimes it crashes the, the DPR file. It's act it's added then here additional uh, style information what is wrong. So if that's the case, you should simply delete it. Yeah, I think it's very practical to have directly the preview of the forms here in the formula designer because you don't have to start at all times again for to check how it looks with the style. And I think it uh, is available and Delphi 11, I don't know what. We can just have a look here at my database. It uh, look searching for styles. 
Ah oh, yeah. VCL styles can be rendered in designer. It's from Delphi 11 Alexandria and uh, up newer versions uh, available. Very good thing I can recommend to use. You have already seen the different styles here in the dialogs, but I have also used the window screen style for some buttons here. If you have this bigger buttons, you can recognize it also relatively good uh, where the mouse and hovers over, but if you have so uh, smaller buttons like here, then th it would be not so very good visible. So I have used here for this buttons the uh, Windows 10 green style, and also here on the bottom side for this buttons. So that makes some components or buttons more visible. A second tip for designing. Sometimes some functions that are behind buttons are hardly to uh, explain with icons. So in this case, simply use text. So for example, you have um, also the possibility to uh, preview this uh, markdown file in this case. I can, for example, select a split mode where we have then the HTML file on the right side or I can use also the register mode, though I can uh, swap between these uh, bigger windows. And again, another tip uh, that I have mentioned before, uh, show only things that at moment is used. For example, if you only editing here some parts, you don't need the search tab, so you can activate it here. or how it is in more or less all programs with uh, control and F and like in Delphi you can activate the search and um, show this line but if it's not used so then don't display it. Another tip belongs to the page control in dark mode. It is um, sometimes very hard to recognize which tab is selected. So use the on draw tab event and draw some additional color info like I have done here. So you can very easy then see which tab is selected. You can use colors also to make a distinction between buttons or text for example. So here on the bottom side you have the word preview that explains the buttons that are on this side and on the right times you have here the a size so you can mimic smaller or bigger windows so though you can test how it uh, looks on smaller devices uh, like so. So for the next tip I record all three monitors because it's um, a question of what you should support. If the user has more than one monitor then offer some things in your program if it fits to it that he can do uh, here. For example, we can view also the preview on an external a monitor, so on the right. So you have here the full space and can watch the preview on the on the right. And we can also use the view in the browser so we can check the preview also here in a browser of your choice and you are happy with your situation here on, on the computer. So don't think only on one monitor. Take into account that the user has perhaps two or three monitors and then think about what you can do and offer for the situation. So on another computer I have a much more bigger monitor. There I use it mostly in the split modus, but on this PC sometimes it is better to have the opportunity to have a preview also on an extra window. Yeah, I hope that was interesting for you and you have got some helpful impressions for developing forms using colors and using more styles in your program at the same time with Delphi VCL in this case. And that was all. If you liked it video please give it a thumb or grab an abo 
and see you soon. Bye bye.